that is killing my back. Oh my god. So this is my lovely bobcat now. So guys, today in this video there is no sound and music related content at all. So no synthesizers, no mixer, no studio at all. Because today I want to show you guys something which is inside in this box. I think it's pretty interesting stuff. So let me drive into my workshop and then let's open this box and let me show you guys what is this. Let's start the bucket. So you know guys, I'm not dealing only with audio and music and video and whatever, I'm also dealing with the handworks and uh, it will become on my YouTube channel more frequently. <laughs> also the workshop things because my new product development is depend on my hand skills, this is how it's called. <laughs> so it depends on my hand skills and on my tool set and this box, it's a new toy in my workshop. Why I want to do a video about this uh, box? I, I find this uh, uh, one on, on eBay and uh, unfortunately they don't show you nothing on a YouTube or something. The company called is Rotec. It's a very professional company on uh, hand tools and on machine tools. Even they they uh, producing engines and motors for, I don't know, so definitely you have to check them out. A really professional European-Austrian company, so this is not Ching Chang Chung from Shenzhen or whatever, so it's a real European company. And I want to buy a hydraulic press for my works here because now, uh, as you can see over there, this is the parts what I have to install into my car and a few parts it has to be pressed. So for example bearings and I don't know what kind of uh, other parts but I need a press for it and for that I already ordered the original Renault uh, set for, for pressing the things. Then I went uh, to the eBay and I find this one for a pretty good price. It's about running about 599 euro here in Europe and it was absolutely professional uh, quality. Uh, later on, of course, I will explain to you guys what kind of professional stuff you will get from this uh, Rotec European company. I don't know, maybe for some synthesizer or something, it will be, it will be a nice box. Ah, okay, kind of working. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Yeah, in my dreams. Okay. This is really industrial kind. Oh my God, this is the instructions for the assembly. So yeah, we will do this. The, the model number is WZWP slash minus 30MPV. Again, not Maria or not Erika, something, uh, this weird, I don't know why a company is doing this. It's 4.8, it's nothing fancy, it's construction level. But these ones, yeah, these guys, it's... Yeah, they, this screws is 8.8 uh, .8 on, a, on a hardness. Yeah, it's really hard. So, definitely this is not a joke. This one's a bit longer and eight piece is shorter. Okay, so let's uh, first assemble the, the leg part. Ah, I have a very nice channel on uh, YouTube. Actually, I have a lot of very nice channel on YouTube about uh, handworks and mechanics and machines and, you know, guys, late machines and uh, everything. And one guy from that is Ave. I don't know his original name, but definitely if you want to see something really funny and interesting way how a man should be working in a workshop <laughs> and how men should be speak in a workshop, check out his channel. Of course, I will share with you guys other YouTube channels 
on this video, but I really like to watch them, how they're working with, uh, with really heavy machines. And those guys are really amazing. So I think if Ave get this set, I think he will say something like this, like, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, a treat as best you know. The skill saw mag 77. The saw what built America. United States of Freedom. Fuck yeah! Lieblings, meine Damen und Herren, willkommen in der Werkstatt zurück. Was wir hier haben, ist der Sir James Große Hoden. Fink dich, Dyson! Oh, this is our so definitely if you want to get some really funny minutes just uh, subscribe to his channel he's a really amazing guy so yeah again a b c get out there with this camera from my face <laughs> sorry guys i'm not a german and i'm not an english guy i'm a, i'm a stupid hungarian boy so i must have to adopt to money language here in germany and uh, so if you guys uh, hear, hear from me something really <laughs> stupid or crazy uh, wrong bad english is because of that so yeah i don't uh, understand on the beginning why i have here two longer bolt but now i get it so that's why I'm so stupid, yeah? So if you get a user manual, just don't read it, yeah? <laughs> I think it's really common. Everybody is doing like this. So when you get something, you never read the, the user manual, no? Smart you also, no? You're smart enough just to... We, yeah, we just always open and uh, we assemble and then we we amazed if something is going wrong. Don't think you are smarter than the guys who, who design it, yeah? <laughs> Mudashrau. Oh, guys, I have a really nasty story about this piece of wood on my table. <laughs> on the next video, I will <laughs> explain it to you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty interesting story about how people are lazy. Let's pick up more metal, no? We like metal. So, metal is good. <laughs> Now the time to pick up some keys. <clears throat> don't play with shit. Proxon Industrial, yeah? So don't, don't buy Ching Chang Chung from Shenzhen on eBay. Go and buy a, a proper uh, set. Industrial, really it is. Uh, guys, shut up, silence. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. <coughs> and <coughs> I have from them Schlüssel Satz. Satz or Satz? Satz. Satz? Okay. Uh, this is also industrial and it's from the slim line, which is meaning the, the cross section, it's really thin and I'm telling you guys it's so comfortable to to hold it and work with it and actually even if it's this section is it's tiny and it's made much more lighter but it's not cutting your palm so when you're working with that and you apply really heavy force it somehow it's it's not cutting your palm here I had another one from I, I forgot the brand even I give it to somebody as a gift because I really hate it. It has a, almost the same size, but every time when I just crash it and, and I feel the really big pain in my palm, but this one, the Proxom uh, Slimline, it's a really good tool. And of course you can drill here uh, holes and you can fix it down to your concrete. But at, at the moment I don't want to do this because in the next month, I will build up a new workshop, much more bigger for my uh, machines and for my machinery works. And uh, this is where I want to, to put this uh, hydraulic press. And the last one. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, it have some kind of uh, uh, zinc or something on the surface, but yeah, the yeah the metal itself it's hardened. Yeah, maybe you hear it, no? It's really just my yeah, yeah, guys. It's definitely worth for one more video. It's a beast. I think I'm not alone in the world with this idiotism, yeah? So when we work with the hand on a very tight areas, so when, when I just finger even, this pulley can go in, we always do like this. So we start to work with the hand and then we... <laughs> so why are we not watching the place? We always have to do like this, like a tang in a right position, so like this and we always watching in a total different direction, like, okay, why? So the right tongue angle again, okay, huh? I'm telling you, if I'm watching, I cannot. So this is one professional feature. Because what you can find on the market for 500 euro or 400 euro, you will not get this one, which is a pulley, if I'm not fucking up. So it's a pulley system. So you can imagine. This is a very bad example because we never do like this with the brake disc. But you can get a picture. So now your bridge alone is like uh, 15 kilogram. The part holder and the special tool set is the next five kilogram and your part is, can be easily, let's say up to 10 kilogram. On the average uh, uh, hydraulic presses, what you can buy on eBay for 400, 500 euro, you have to work with hand. So this is what you have to do. And of course, if, if you are alone, you cannot do this alone because you just can lift up one side. Then maybe all of your setup will fucked up easily, you know? I'm telling you guys, alone to move parts and also the bridge, it's almost impossible. But what I can do now, it's really simple. Just lift to the, lift, uh, to the position where I want. Then of course, put back the stick, okay? So then I put back the stick and I'm done. So this is what you cannot do with uh, the cheap uh, Chinese um, hydraulic presses. Okay. If somebody need a box, I will send it by DHL. Huh? So this is one professional function. The next one is the, the ram you can adjust. So you have a possibility to to move the ram where is the cylinder so you definitely can work on really crazy shaped uh, parts under it i find uh, in a lot of uh, hydraulic press machines it's you you, you cannot move uh, the ram the third professional feature is the gauge in a cheap hydraulic presses you don't get a gauge which is meaning you don't know how much pressure you applied on your part. So you no have clue, you just press, press until something, you hear some noise or something will crack, but you don't know this crack noise is came from damage or it's uh, the part is released, for example, the bearing from the, the bearing hose. With this gauge, you have a really nice um, measurement on how much pressure you applied on, on a cylinder. The fourth professional feature on this press, but of course for that we have to assemble it, which is uh, the driver itself, because this one is not only a hand-drived hydraulic, it's also contain a pneumatic cylinder so if you're lazy or you're not too strong you can use your compressor to drive the big piston with the pneumatic uh, cylinder
So this one, I think it's nothing fancy. It's just a, a normal divider. So the pressure is coming here and is dividing to two parts. So one line is driving the gauge and one is driving uh, the cylinder itself. So I don't think so. It's heavy inside some kind of uh, pressure magic. I think it's only a divider. So I already connected all the other hydraulic pipes uh, up to here and I released uh, the air from, from this connection. So what I have to do now is to connect uh, the, the main uh, hydraulic outlet to the uh, cylinder, but on the same time I have to release the air because of course now the whole system is full with air. So, so I'm just connecting this pipe to here <clears throat> and uh, I tie it up then I release back a bit make sure the air can come out uh, on the side so if now I'm pumping the the pressure cylinder then I must okay I see something I hope you guys see it so now the fluid is there and I don't think so I have more air inside so I can close it and uh, I hope everything will be okay. By the way guys, never touch hydraulic fluid with, with pure <laughs> hand because this is a really dangerous uh, chemical. I don't know what is inside, but it's really nasty what this can do with your skin. Oh my God, hydraulic fluid on my camera is not good. Oi, 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 get off, get off. So now if I'm uh, pressing the handle, you can see the main cylinder, it's coming out. And I think one pump is moving like uh, two of maximum three millimeters. So here on the end, I move like 50 centimeter and this piston is just moving two or three millimeters. So this is a really great reduction. Do more. Okay. I think it's working really nicely. Uh, by the way, why you not see now the gauge is it's operating because now the gauge, it cannot measure pressure because there is no pressure. So no part here, what can do a force back to the cylinder and then the pressure will build up uh, until to gauge. So I will put here something and uh, we will see how the gauge is really, it's moving with the pressure and how I can uh, feel the pressure. So to try out this hydraulic pressure, I have here a really piece of garbage tool, what is sold on, on a German shop. So I don't know who made this. But as you can see guys, it's already bended with the normal usage. So I don't expect from that <laughs> a lot of strength to, to hold back uh, this 30 ton of pressure. So this is what I will place under it. And I don't know who doing that, but garbage. And this is the best time to check how the piston is going back. Because this system is only one way uh, hydraulic pressure system. What is mean? For example, on the Bobcat, I have two pipes. So one pipe is pressing the, the, the bottom of the cylinder and the other pipe is sucking the oil from the other side. But here the, the configuration is totally different because this piston inside, it's contain a very strong uh, uh, spring. So then when I release here the pressure, the, this heavy spring is pushing back all the hydraulic fluid back uh, to the to this uh, big red chamber so let me check it so if i release it you see it's really beautifully <laughs> guys this tool it's absolutely industrial look how smooth it is the art of precision so let me build up the pressure eh? So now we touched the hammer and now we can start to build up the pressure. <laughs> this hammer is really 
<laughs> it's made from Chinese yum. Okay, now the gauges start to move. And uh, guys, <laughs> it's really amazing. So I really can feel the, 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 the pressure differences. Oh my God, guys, the, the feeling of precision. I can feel every millimeter of movement in a metal. So now I think we, we reached the breaking point. So I can feel it, how the metal is losing the strength. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> we are on 10 bar. <laughs> I think uh, 30 ton, it's... Uh, uh, it will be 666 bar. So let me connect this one to my compressor and we will see <laughs> what we'll do with this hammer, yeah? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Nothing. So <laughs> this hammer even cannot hold up to 10 bar. 10 bar from the 666. Hmm? <laughs> I think it will be. <laughs> so what I find, it's a, a hinge of a security, uh, really heavy, really industrial kind of door. And uh, this is the part of, of the heavy security system. So this is a really massive and really heavy piece of steel. I hope we can bend it. Uh, and uh, I guess about... Uh, 120 bar when this piece will be will, will, will be bent. This is why it's really handy, this one. Because now, if I want to do with hand, it takes uh, <laughs> a lot of time to, to reach the part. But now, with this luxury, I can do much more faster. Soon my compressor will stop it, so it's meaning we are on eight and a half bar. Yeah, this is the, the pressure what I'm using for all of my tools because really guys, if, if you don't want to kill your tools, uh, don't go up to 10 bar, it's really unnecessarily. Even some tools is, is limited uh, to work on uh, after 8 bar, so. But of course I have other output on my compressor, which is before the, the pressure uh, uh, regulator, so I have other a 12 bar output on the compressor, but this one now I'm driving on a eight and a half. Okay. Okay, now we reached, and I suggest like 150 bar. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so 150 bar, and this really heavy. Uh, industrial door hinge with some security rod system or what has inside it start to bend oh my god oh my god it's broken to two pieces <laughs> no chance <laughs> guys no chance 150 bar it's about six ton or seven ton of pressure and is just oh my god it's already broken and i'm telling you guys the this is something really heavy and really hard than that steel so nothing i no no way 150 bar Okay guys, I just want to show you everything on this really beautiful machine. Here we have a really heavy, uh, I think it's almost half inch thickness of steel. So on the top bridge, inside in the bridge have a really heavy constructed uh, ram system what you can move uh, from side to side. This is the piston and uh, guys, the, the quality of the piston is just amazing. And uh, under we have uh, from the same thickness of, of metal, you can see it's almost a uh, half inch. So this is the bottom bridge where you 
can build up your part order and your parts. Under it, this is the almost two inch uh, roads to, to hold the bridge. This is the pulley system, which is really smart. It's coming from here to somewhere inside. And then it's not connected on a top. It's connected on a bottom, you can see over there. So the other end of the rope is coming up here and then it's uh, connected to this end of the bridge. So then um, we have here the oil chamber, driver piston, it's here under, somewhere there. This one is the pneumatic system to drive the oil pump system. This one, this knob here is the pressure releaser. So if I open this one, you can see now the, the piston is moving up and uh, really heavy, really industrial kind of uh, uh, oil pressure pipes. This size, uh, <laughs> I saw it on, on uh, heavy industrial demolition machines. And this one, this pipe is the air, air pipe and this is where you have your air uh, cylinder. So the leg system, I still have to work a bit on it to drill here some holes to, to fix it to the concrete. As you can see, we have a many option to level the bridge to different positions. It's of course, it depends on your part, what you, what you work on it. So Rotec, thumbs up for, for this tool. This is definitely not a joke and this is definitely not a toy. Uh, and I think for the money, for 569 or 66, I don't know, I, I will put here the, the, the price and the, the link uh, to the eBay shop. It's unbeatable. So these professional functions and the force and the pressure and the pneumatic cylinder system and the gauge system, guys, it's a new baby in my workshop. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah.